Hi Tubes, got something a little different for you today. I got this uh, old Heim Warner Porta Power here, and I was using it the other day, and it crapped out on me. But it, I kind of expected it to. It lasted uh, longer than I thought it would, but uh, I've had this thing since 1975, and it earned me a lot of money. You know, it's a it's a good set. Heim Warner was a good name back in the day. Heim Warner was the best you can get. You know, there was only about uh, four companies or so. You had Lincoln, Walker, Blackhawk, and, and High Warner. High Warner was, uh, was, was the top of the heap, you know. I mean, their stuff was the best. And even though it sounds like a German name, it's actually American. But uh, they faded away. They retired everything in the, in the 90s. And then uh, some Chinese company took over the name, you know. They're still made in America, but it's, it's not the same High Warner. But this here is one of the originals. And I got the Porter Power here. Like I said, I tried to use it the other day and it worked. And then the second time I tried it, it, it sort of crapped out. So I think I think we're going to have to try and rebuild it. I can't imagine it being too uh, involved in here. You know, maybe some seals or something. But like I say, I mean, I've had it for 40, 41 years or so. And I bought it used. So, uh, it served me well. So what I'm going to do is uh, take it apart and uh, see what we can do with it. Try to get it back on its feet. Alright, let me put some gloves on and uh, try to drain this thing. Alright, I moved you over here to the vise. The uh, first thing I'm going to take out is this uh, on-off valve. This uh, feels kind of, it feels rubbery, you know, like it's it's binding up. So that's, that's not a good sign. It's... Uh, that probably means there's an o-ring on there or something that's all twisting or something like that so uh, we'll take that off first. I got it draining it looks kind of shitty there but uh, it's actually the wheel that came out wasn't that bad. The, the pan was uh, had that black stuff in there already so the stuff that came out really wasn't too bad alright oh yeah I got uh, my little uh, o-ring kit here and hopefully I have everything I need to fix this, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, I unbolted this here. I thought I, I thought it was drained, you know. But when I when I took this out, I gotta say it was it's pretty hard. It was like you know, like an O-ring is holding it in or something. Now when I pulled it out, more fluid drained out. Good thing I had the pan under there. See what I'm saying? That, that oil coming out won't be bad at all. So, uh, that helps. I don't know if we can see in here. Oh, yeah. There's that rubber thing. That don't look like an O-ring. That looks like more like a gasket, so... Probably something I won't be able to find. Alright, let's pull that out. Alright, so far... I don't know if you can see in there, but, uh... I cleaned that out. That's where that thumb valve was. And it's uh, pretty nice in there. And actually, here's the rubber that came out. And the rubber is uh, is soft and supple. And here's the thumb screw itself. Now I cleaned this. I put this on a wire wheel and everything. And that was that was actually pretty cruddy. It wasn't really corrosion, but uh, it was just like crud. So I cleaned that up. And I was worried about where I was going to get this. Uh, it's not even a washer. I don't even know what they want to call it, but. Uh, I think that's why it was dragging, but now, now it's moving nice and smooth, so I think I might be able to reuse that, you know? I doubt if I'll be able to find these parts. Like I say, this this thing's got to be, uh, I've had it for over 40 years, 50, it's got to be 60, 70 years old. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, I have a feeling that whatever O-rings are bad are, are in here. And it looks like it's been taken apart before, long before I've had it. And instead of like uh, eclipse or horseshoe clips, whatever you want to call them, it looks like, I don't know if this is the way they're made or not, it just has like wire wrapped around there and sort of crimped on holding them on. So I'm going to open that up a little bit. And then, like I say, I'm going to try and get in here. This part here, that's probably the check valve. And usually uh, they don't have O-rings that go bad or anything. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this first and uh, see what's going on. 
and in here I think it's just a reservoir I don't even think there's there's anything in there but uh, we'll see like I say uh, we're doing this together I've never I've never done anything like this before so can't be that tough right all right all right I took this little pin out that was holding these uh, little arms on and now this plunger I'm trying to stay out of your way here but this this plunger pulls right out and uh, it's in good shape I mean there's no rust no rot no put the light on for you here you know it's in uh, perfect condition so now I'm gonna try and take this brass thing out looks like it's been beat up a little bit over the years like I said I never had this apart I'm gonna see how tough it is to get out all right it's funny I was looking at this and seeing how uh, beat up it is and everything and thinking it's gonna give me trouble but I just hit the outside here with like a little wire brush to clean some of the gunk off and then I put a screwdriver on it and it's loose so I actually tried screwing it in the other way and it was wasn't loose but uh, you were able to turn it it's not the best uh, screw hole here but you're able to turn it so that that tells me that must be some kind of packing in there so well, let me take that out and we'll see where it is okay we got this off here and that looks like a a packing washer there. Let me turn the light on for you there. Okay, this one's a little crushed. But uh, it wasn't leaking. It wasn't leaking out here. And this one here looks like a double. It has a double washer here. These are almost like faucet washers. You know, they're... Uh, they're just rubber and thick, but so far I don't see anything that would. Uh, that's just that's just to keep oil from leaking over your floor. I think there might be another one here. There's one more here. See, I don't know if that's original or that's just some creative way somebody kept this from leaking. But uh, got to be some kind of plunger in there with an O-ring or something. All right, let me look into it a little further. All right, here's what we got so far. I think this might be the plunger. I'm not sure. I got to look at it a little better. But here's what we got out of there. We've got five washers, and they have a on the back of them. They're sort of concave. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, they're sort of got a recess. And then at the very end was this uh, metal washer, and that's where that recess sets into. So I don't know if this was just somebody's creativity by putting five of these together or that's how it went, you know? And God only knows where I'm going to find these washers. Like I say, they, they got a shape to them, you know, not just O-rings. And they are a little hard. But like I say, I don't think this had anything to do with the pressure. I think this is more or less a, a seal, you know, to keep the oil from leaking out. All right, let me investigate a little more. All right, here's what we came up with. All these, uh, all this stuff in here, this is all fixed. There's uh, nothing that uh, pushes in or anything like that. So that cylinder is is actually what uh, gives you your pressure and stuff. And this is actually these cups, and they are hard and uh, dried out. You know, we call it dead rubber. So I guess I'm. I'm going to try and find these. I would imagine somebody has these because there had to be millions of these things made and probably millions of them still around. So that's what uh, that's what creates your pressure because I actually took this and put it in there to see if it was hitting up. Now it's bottom and out, so it's not it's not pushing up against anything, you know. And it makes sense now that uh, with these bushings on there and this packing nut you can actually tighten that down so that's, that squishes up against your shaft here 
and it also squishes up against the wall there and gives you your uh, pressure plus it, it creates a seal so it doesn't leak so so that's it I'm surprised and actually I put this thumb screw back in cleaned it all up and everything and this works nice it turns really easy seals there we go it's sealed now and that releases so if I could find that that rubber washer in there I'll buy it but if I can't I think that one will be, uh, be just fine so right now I gotta go try and see if I can find these these washers here alright I don't know how long this video is or how interesting it is but uh, that's where we're gonna leave it right now alrighty we'll get back to you and let you know how I made out finding them seals okay we did a little research here and uh, these seals here they're actually called U-cups U-cup seals and they, they measure them in metrics and I think what I got here is uh, 10 millimeter inner diameter 18 millimeter outside diameter and it's about uh, 5 millimeters thick so I found a place that had these or something similar anyway and uh, I ordered them they were about 275 a piece so with shipping and everything, I ordered, I ordered six of them instead of five in case I damage one. And uh, with all the, with the shipping and, and six of these, it's going to be like 20 bucks. So uh, we'll wait for them to come in and then uh, when they come in, we'll put them in and see how it works. Alrighty, enough of this.